Hello children. Can you imagine your body without bones? No na, because bones give shape to our body. So the next lesson is all about the skeleton system that is bones, muscles, their importance and their function. So let us begin the lesson. Lesson number two, human skeleton system. The skeletal system is made up of 206 bones and includes all the bones and joints in the body. The skeleton is a framework of bones that provides protection and gives the body proper shape and helps in the movement. Functions of skeletal system Five major functions of skeleton are It gives shape and support It provides movement it protects for the blood production and also it helps for the storage. Bones and joints in human body. The human body has many bones. Bones are of different sizes and shapes. Major bones in human body are the skull, the backbone, the ribcage, the hand and the leg bones. The skull. The human skull is the bony structure that forms the head in the human skeleton. It is world's most important natural helmet because it protects our brain. Most bones of the skull are fixed except the lower jaw bone which is movable. The backbone. The backbone is also known as vertebral column or spine. It runs from the base of the skull to the lower back. It is made up of 33 small bones called vertebrae joined with each other. It is because of these bones that we are able to bend and twist our back. Each vertebrae has a hole in it. The delicate spinal cord passes through these holes. The backbone protects the spinal cord. The spine is the central support of the body. The spine is made up of separate bones called vertebrae. Between each vertebrae is the cartilage which keeps bones from rubbing against each other. Fun fact that there are 26 vertebrae in the human body. Ribcage Ribcage protects our lungs and the heart. The ribs are long curved bones in the chest. There are 12 pair of ribs that form a cage-like structure called the rib cage. These cup bones are joined the two backbone at the back. The last two pairs of ribs are not attached at the front and are called floating ribs. The rib cage protects our heart and lungs. It is uh, separated from the stomach of the body by a muscle called diaphragm. The diaphragm and the muscles between the ribs expand and expand relax to make the chest bigger and smaller during breathing the limbs hand and leg the bo in the body there are two pairs of limbs four limbs that are arms and hen limbs that are legs four limbs the bones of the shoulder are attached to our backbone the four limb can be divided into upper arm the forearm and the hand the upper arm of the body extends from the shoulder to the elbow and provides strength for pulling and lifting. The forearm is the part of the forelimb between the wrist and the elbow. The muscle in the forearm helps the wrist to extend, rotate and flex. Hand includes five fingers that allow humans to do much more complicated tasks. The lower arm is made up of two bones. There are 27 bones in our hand and wrist. Hind limbs. The leg consists of upper leg, knee, lower leg, ankle and foot. Femur is the thigh bone which is the largest bone in the body. The legs give support to the body when we are standing and helps us to do other movements such as walk, run and jump. So now you know which is the longest bone of our body, right? That is the femur. What is joint? As you can see in the picture, the point where two bones joins is known as joint. So, 
a joint is a junction where two or more bones meet joints enable us uh, to bend stretch twist turn easily most of our bones mm, are move only in certain directions bones are held by tough tissues called ligaments there are various kinds of joints in our body such as joints knee elbow hip etc types of joints there are two types of joints that is movable joint and immovable joint immovable joint an immovable joint or fixed joint is a place in the body where two bones are joined together but show very little or no movement this includes joints between the bones of the skull joints in the pelvis and joints between the teeth and the lower and upper jaw movable joint the joints that provide free movement of the body are called movable joint this type of bone is found in the arm leg hip and shoulder cartilage is found within all the movable joint which make movements easy there are different types of movable joint in the body hinge joint ball and socket joint pivot joint and gliding joint now as we discuss we will discuss in detail types of joints hinge joint these joints can move up down backward and forward like door hinges you can also check out your knees and elbows they are they comes under hinge joint ball and socket joint one of the bones end in a ball that fits into a hole in the other bone example femur and upper arm bone pivot joint it connects the skull and spine it allows head to rotate and also move it upward and downward sliding joint wrist and ankles have sliding joint this allows to move hand and foot from side to side as well as backward and forward muscles muscles are the soft tissues found in the body which contract and relax to cause movement there they are fleshy component of our body what are muscles now you would have understood it muscles are attached to bones to make the skeleton and therefore the body moves it is done with the help of tendons the contraction and relaxation of muscles is the cause of movement of the body they work in pairs bones cannot move themselves they need something to move them that is why muscle help them to move muscles are made up of tough elastic tissues they are attached to the bones by strong fiber called tendons muscles are usually work in pairs a good example of pair of muscles working together can be seen in human arm the muscles in front of the arm is called bicep muscles the muscles at the back of the arm is called tricep muscle it is clearly mentioned in the picture the front is biceps back is triceps when the bicep muscles is working the tricep muscle is relaxed and when tricep is contracted the bicep is relaxed so contraction of the triceps muscle strengthens them there are mainly three types of muscles inside our body that is voluntary muscles involuntary muscle and cardiac muscle actually cardiac muscle also comes into voluntary muscles only voluntary muscles are one which can be moved at the conscious of the person that means they are under human control for example you can move your hands legs when you want when you don't want you will not move them so they are absolutely under your control these muscles carry out ordinary movements that is leg movements eye rotation etc involuntary muscles are not under your control involuntary muscles are the one in our body which work without the will of the person these muscles are mostly in the inner part of the body that is stomach you will not tell your stomach to digest the food it will digest itself cardiac muscle are one which compose of circulatory system and its components they fall under involuntary muscles but are separately classified as they work non stop so now you understood why the cardiac muscle comes under different category yes they are involuntary muscle that means you don't tell your heart to work they work it's it works itself 
but the point is every time it is working it works throughout a person's life care of bones and muscles how can we care of our bone and muscle by eating lot of vegetables vegetables also seem to increase bone mineral density also known as bone density perform strength training and weight bearing exercise one of the best type of activity for bone health is weight bearing and high impact exercise which promotes formation of new bones care of bones and muscles consume good protein diet a low protein intake can lead to bone loss while a high protein intake it can help protect bone health during aging and weight loss in fact 50% of bone is made up of protein only eat uh, high calcium food throughout the day and take plenty of vitamin d and vitamin k importance of posture and exercise good posture what is posture posture is the position our body of our body when we sit stand or walk a good posture gives appearance to our body now you have two pictures in front of you you can see in the first picture the girl is sitting in a bad posture when other whereas other is sitting straight so which is looking better obviously the girl in who is sitting straight or the another one who is standing upright position we must always sit straight to walk straight and walk upright a good posture keep our body in proper shape and make our, us look smart exercise regular exercise help us to keep our muscles in good tone it helps to keep bone strong and helps the lungs heart blood, blood vessel to function properly children at the end of the lesson let's discuss about some amazing facts of this lesson what we have learned as you know half of the bones are in your hand and feet the longest bone in the body is femur the smallest bone in our body is located located in your ear strip your face has 14 bones you are using 12 facial muscle when you smile your leg is fastest growing bone in your body a giraffe has the small amount of bones in its neck you have in your neck its neck is just longer it takes more muscle to frown than to smile so smile i'm sure you would have understood the lesson very nicely thank you so much